Today I have something special for you, something Italiano. Bellissimo! If you're looking to add amplifiers to your car stereo system to improve the sound quality and performance, then don't go anywhere. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Audison's new line of amplifiers. Now, these are their SR series available in multiple variations. So stay with us as I break these down. If you're familiar with Audison, then you know that they are known for superior sound quality. Based in Italy, which is synonymous for beautiful design and high performance from car companies like Ferrari, Maserati, and Lamborghini, to designers like Armani and Versace. This company has stayed true to its Italian heritage and has been producing outstanding high-end car audio products for over 30 years and have a wide range of products that include speakers, sound processors, and amplifiers. Now their philosophy combines design, technology, and sound quality to produce some of the best car audio components on the market. As you can imagine, this type of approach will come at a higher cost. In fact, Audison makes an amplifier called the Thesis. And if you ever buy one of these amps, your kid will not be able to write their college thesis because it will cost more than their tuition, coming in at $16,000. But these amps are definitely in the affordable range, ranging between $399 and $549. But before we jump into some of the features of these amplifiers, these amps are available for sale on our website. Just click the link in the description below and that'll take you directly to the product pages. So first off, these amplifiers are pretty small. That's because they use D-Class technology. Typically, D-Class amplifiers do not produce the same sound quality as their counterpart, AB. Knowing this, Audison sent their R&D team to the lab in Italy to come up with a solution for this problem. And this is what they came up with. Audison Audison's proprietary ADT, which stands for Audison D-Class Technology, which made it possible to reduce the size of these amplifiers considerably, totally preserving the audio performance that characterizes each Audison project. Now we have sold and installed a number of these amplifiers and I can say with confidence that there is nothing in the price range that can outperform these amps, including the ever popular JL Audio XD amps. Not to say that those amplifiers are bad, but these amplifiers are superior in sound quality and price lower. On the design elements, these amplifiers are all edgeless and have the connections on the bottom of the amp, making it easier to install in tight places, like underneath the seat. The controls are located on the face of the amp and are protected by an aluminum brush panel. The connection points use Allen heads to secure the wire, and overall, this is a great looking amp and are designed with the ease of installation in mind. So we'll list a small table of contents in the description below so you can jump around and check out these amps individually. Starting with the SR1.500. Now this amp is rated at 500 watts times one with less than 1% distortion at four ohms. Now, if you drop this amp to two ohms, then you're gonna get 800 watts times one. And if you drop it down to one ohm, then you'll get a full 1000 watts times one. Now that is a ton of power and can easily run two subwoofers that handle 500 watts each or a single sub up to 1000 watts. But make sure you load this amplifier down to one ohm to get its maximum power output. If you do, this is a dynamite of an amplifier. Super small in size, only 6.1 by 10.39 by 1.87. Okay, so let's start with the connections on this amplifier. So you have your power and your ground, both A gauge input. Now you're gonna wanna make sure you use an OFC wiring, okay, because that cheaper wire is not gonna work. If you use that wire, then you're gonna get less performance from this amplifier. Next to that, you got the remote in and the remote out, and that's on a two prong plug. And then you have your speaker outputs. Then you have your RCA outputs and RCA inputs. Then you also have speaker level inputs, just in case you're using a factory radio and you don't want to use a high-low adapter. And then lastly, you have the plug-in for the remote bass knob. So the bass knob is not included with any of these amplifiers. So if you're interested, the part number is VCR-S1, and we'll leave a link in the description below for you. All right, so let's look at some of the adjustments here. So here you have the pre-out high pass, and that gives you the ability to choose from 50 hertz to 250 hertz. Now that's for the RCA cable that says output if you're running another amplifier. Then you have the gain or the level control. Then you have your phasing from zero to 180. And then you have a preset bass boost at 50 hertz. And then you can adjust that from zero dB all the way up to 12 dB. Okay, then you have the low pass filter. And that you can either set between 50 hertz and 250 hertz. And then you can either turn that filter on or off. And then you have a subsonic filter. And you can turn that on or off. If you choose to use it, it's set at 25 hertz, 24 dB octave. This is a great amplifier and a small chassis. Tons of power and good sound quality. This amplifier goes for only $399. And if you like this, just click the link in the description below and that'll take you directly to its product page. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get into the multi-channel amplifiers, starting with the SR4.300, 75 watts times four into four ohms with less than 1% distortion, or 130 watts times four into two ohms, or if you bridge this two-channel mode, you get 250 watts times two into four ohms. As you can see, this is an extremely small amplifier, 6.1 by 7.48 by 1.87. This will easily fit underneath the seat of most vehicles, or even behind a side panel in a trunk. Okay side connections all right so you have your eight gauge power and ground and then your two prong remote output and input and then your speaker outputs for channel and then you have your input channels a and b and then you also have a pre-out and there's also high level inputs so if you're using a stock radio or a radio that doesn't have rca pre-outs then you're able to use the high level output and to go directly into this amplifier and then there wouldn't be a need for rca connections Okay, so the adjustments on the top, starting with channels A. So you have your ART, which stands for Automatic Remote Turn-On. Again, if you're using a factory radio and the factory radio doesn't have an amp turn-on, which most don't, what this will do is once you send that signal into the amplifier, whether it's high level or low level, it'll actually turn on the amplifier just by that signal. Then you have the gain or the level control, and then you have the filter mode, and you can either set that at full, high pass, or low pass. And then there's the filter adjustment, in which you can pick the frequency, between 50 hertz and 3200 hertz and then there's also a mono button on or off so the b channels have the same with the addition of the bass boost so it's a 50 hertz bass boost that you can adjust from 0 db to 12 db and the reason why they have that is if you decide to run a subwoofer on channels b you're able to get more bass out of those channels this is a great little dynamic amplifier with tons of power for its small chassis great for running a set of separates or coaxials that can handle 75 watts times 4 rms or if you want to run a set of good front speakers off the front channels and a single sub off the rear that'll work as well priced at only 399 this is a great value and it's amazingly small at 75 watts times four if you want to pick up this amplifier for your car just click the link in the description below and it'll take you directly to that product page okay the step up is the sr 4.500 125 watts rms into four ohms with less than one percent distortion now that's a ton of power for a good set of components even three ways for the front and a good set of coaxials or components for the rear or if you bridge it into two channel mode 450 watts times two into four ohms 6.1 by 10.39 and 1.87 in height super small chassis actually the same chassis as the sr 1.500 so if you're running dual amplifiers these things will look great next to each other okay so the connections on the side you have your power input your ground input both a gauge just like everything else then you have the remote output and input, and then you have your four speaker output, and then you have your front and rear input RCAs, and then there's also an output. If let's say you're running another amplifier and you don't wanna run another RCA, or if your stereo only has two set of RCA preouts, then you can output from here to the sub amplifier. And then you also have your high level inputs, both front and rear. Okay, so these are identical to the adjustments on the SR4.300. You have the ART on or off, and then you have the gain or the level, then you have the filter mode, either full range, low pass or high pass. Then you have the filter frequency, adjustable from 50 hertz to 3200 hertz. And then you have the mono on or off. On the B channels, same as well. And the same thing, just the additional 50 hertz bass boost on these channels. This amp has tons of power and will be able to drive most anything you throw at it, even in the high end range. 125 watts times four is a lot of power for the front stage and plenty for the rear speakers. If you buy a set of two ohm speakers, then you can get 225 watts per channel. Now that's a lot. Priced at only $4.99, this is a great deal. If you're ready to step up to an app like this, then click the link in the description below and that'll take you directly to the product page. Okay, so now onto the five channel. Okay, so this is the SR5.600. 75 watts times four with less than 1% distortion and 300 watts times one into four ohms. But if you drop the impedance down to two ohms, you'll get 115 watts times four and 550 watts times one. In most cases, you're gonna be running this at 75 watts times four into four ohms, but you will wanna drop the impedance down to two ohms to get that full 550 watts on the fifth channel. This amplifier measures 6.1 by 11.57 and 1.87 in height. All right, again, your power and ground, A gauge input, remote in and out. Then you have your speaker outputs, front, rear, and sub. And then you have your RC inputs, front, rear, and also sub. And this also has your high level inputs, front, rear, and sub. Now make a note, this does not do summing, just so you know. So if you have a factory system that has front speakers, rear speakers, and the sub, then you can go into this. As long as those frequencies are correct and they'll match up, then you can use it that way. 
Then you have the remote base knob output. One of our favorite five channel amplifiers in this store. This is a great sounding amplifier at a great price. This is coming in at only $549, which is a great deal considering the power, the sound quality, and the brand. Buy this app directly from our website. Just click the link in the description below and that'll take you directly to its product page. So that wraps up Audison's SR amplifier lineup. Excellent value, amazing sound quality, wrapped up in a small footprint. Now remember, we are the Carstero and Performance Shop where you can charge it. So you can get what you want and make low, easy monthly payments. Simply go to our website and apply now. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video and thought it was useful, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.